morning everybody good morning you know i didn't expect to um go live today i kind of came in to pick up some stuff here <clears throat> and so i ended up seeing a whole bunch of new stuff i saw my buddy zach here who was our local rep for tti and him and his other friend were setting up some stuff and moving some stuff they're bringing in a whole new boatload of new stuff that wasn't here before and so i wanted to just kind of show you what we got here what's what's brand new here at depot and hello everybody who's checking in what's up john and joshua yeah some of you guys were with us last night at 10 30 when i did that live stream i mean holy cow i worked 14 hours yesterday on that kitchen remodel doing the the plumbing and the and the, the sweating of the pipes and all that all right so i wanted to show you there was a couple of of uh, little price reductions here so here you got this ryobi <clears throat> this is the 10 inch cordless string trimmer now this is a small trimmer so this is really if you have a small yard this is for really uh you know low level diy stuff but it's marked down to 39 from 49 dollars and we have another one over here there's a couple of them actually let me see is this one different size so now you got the 13 inch trimmer right from ryobi also that shop says eugene what's up says matthew so this one's down to 79 from 99 <clears throat> and then as you move up to the bigger one this is the 15 inch trimmer so this one is down to 139 from 169 what's up there chip shot and so <clears throat> there's your three you got the 10 inch you got the 13 inch and you got the 15 inch so the 10 inch is 39, the 13 inch is 79, and the 15 inch is 139. Now, check this out, guys. We got some new stuff in. This was, um, let me see, do we have the electro? I thought we had the electro. Oh, yeah, we do. It's right here. This is the one that I broke the news to you about back in September when uh, Ryobi announced this. So this is that new electrostatic sprayer. And what it does is somehow they charge the particles so that it enables them to spray like and land right where you want them to go. So it's a faster, more efficient coverage. That's what they claim. So this comes with a half gallon tank on there. And you can spray range from between two and 10 feet there. And Mr. Robert Bates just checked in with a $50 super chat. Thank you so much for that, Robert. Seems like we just saw you last night. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, was finally good to see these hit the store. I'm being interested to see how well these work. Um, <clears throat> the price on this one's pretty stiff though, 349 bucks, man. I tell you, Ryobi's getting pretty cocky. So yeah, we'll see how well this kind of product works. So this was a new display that they just set up today. So if you remember, kind of the other day I showed you, they had all of these just in piles. This is the one that's 49 dollars. This is the accessory kit for the sprayer. The $79 sprayer. Now, those of you guys who have been following my channel, you know I'm having an issue now with my sprayer where the trigger pulled in, but then it's stuck in. So I'm going to have to probably... I'm going to take mine apart and see if I can fix it, see what the issue is. But this is a nice little kit. Even though, you know, 50 bucks is a lot of money, though. Um, just to get... What, what this is, these are three extra nozzles on there, right? But this will adapt to, like, a two-liter bottle, which is kind of cool. So knowing that they don't have a, a, you know, what really would have made this worthwhile is if they made a soap bottle as part of that deal, you know. And Ron Berger says, are you expecting the poster review of the DeWalt Power Washer this weekend? I am hoping, my brother, I am hoping to get it finished, um, filmed today and possibly edited tomorrow for an evening tomorrow um, premiere. So yeah, that is my goal. And I'm just praying that nothing happens to get in the way of that between now and then yeah but i like this new display that they made with with this oh and by the way this is uh let me see i don't, I don't see it here yet but this is their new high performance charger kit that they're coming out with see that that's the four amp hour high performance starter kit so this is going to be 129 dollars. Uh, he doesn't have it here yet and keep in mind um they're both here working today resetting this whole thing they said there was some stuff here that wasn't that didn't belong that they're moving to the other side because apparently there's this floor plan layout that Home Depot has now that they're trying to get everything aligned into that uh, for all of these new OPE tools. Now here's your 18 volt 
brushless three-speed impact driver right here. Now, I don't see the price on it. I think it's temporarily in the wrong spot while they work on the reset. So we'll see if we can find uh, what the price is going to be on it. And Mr. Robert Bates checked in with another Super Chat, $50. Thank you again so much, Robert. Oh yeah, RIP Hammer and Hank Aaron, says Eugene. Yeah, I remember when I was in fifth grade in elementary school when he hit that, that record-breaking home run. Yep. And Christy says, your Home Depot was loaded with stuff as always bare. Oh, yours is always bare. I got to get a couple of different ones. Yep. Sometimes I have to drive to, the other day, remember last week, guys, I had to drive to four Home Depots to get that, that DeWalt Flexvolt uh, cordless table saw. Okay, so here, here's your, uh, this is the trimmer kit. This is the combo kit with the blower, and it's, but it's the 10 inch string trimmer with the blower. So this is gonna be your lower end one here. <clears throat> and look, I mean, come on, only 200 CFM. That's like half the power of my cheapest uh, Ryobi blower that I have. So I have a Ryobi blower and I got a DeWalt blower. Of course, the DeWalt blows Ryobi away on that, but um, that's gotta be really super weak. This, this kit, guys, is made for if you have like a small little townhouse with a little courtyard in front of your, your entranceway or something like that. Um, so anyway, uh, what we have here is a three pack of the replacement spools right here, 1997, and that's the 0 .08, and if you want the 0 .065, those are 1997, same price. Did I miss the Milwaukee Dills? No, we're going to show you some in a minute. They're like right there. So as soon as I get around the back side of this aisle, we're going to head right over to those Milwaukee's. Now, here is the cordless jet fan blower, 129. Okay, and, and this is a weak one too, by the way, guys. I mean, 280 CFM. To me, I wouldn't buy a blower that's under 400 CFM. I just wouldn't, you know. Um, this is for really light use. Uh, they got the cordless chainsaw here, 129. There he is sticking up out of the box. And if you're really looking for... Now, this one I don't understand because here's your 10-inch stringer. This one says 69.97. But I just showed you one over there. I don't know if it's the same one. I just kind of looked at them briefly. But that one I just showed you over there was 39 bucks for the 10 inch. So this may be a newer one. I got to check the model numbers later. <clears throat> don't want to waste y'all's time doing it. Uh, here's the 15 inch one for 159. And again, we just showed you the 15 inch over there. What was that price over here? It is. 139 see so and it's always hard to find the model numbers on here that but yeah they may go 984 let me see if it if it's the same kit or what or why there would be a different price yeah it is a different um it is a different model number so this might be a newer one Okay, and then, so there's the chainsaw, the 14-inch chainsaw is $199. they have got a 40-volt cordless jet fan blower. Now you're starting to get into the higher CFMs on these right here. So this is $159. And then you got uh, more string replacements. So these are the, the .095s for 1397 Or you have more of these, the .08s, same price. And here's the 40 volt cordless string trimmer with the jet fan combo kit. So here you're getting the 15 inch string trimmer with the 525 CFM. See, this is more of a kit like I would get. Okay, 229, okay. I'd still like to see these a little bit lower, but you know, you can always walk in here, guys. You, you, know, the, you know my scheme by now, right? Let me show you here. Let me whip out the old Red Sox wallet, and let's find. Oh, we got some cash in there. This is what. Where is it? Where is it? I'm trying to find my coupons here. Do I have them? Uh -huh. There we go. You can always walk in here with these and get 10% off of here. You could get $22 off of that price by using the these in here, which they accept here in uh, Home Depot. And let's see. Yeah, so $229 for that kit. 
And now we're back again to the electrostatic sprayer here, 349. All right, now let's see what we got over here. Okay, now, this is the new display that they started to build also. So here you got a pressure washer hose, 35 feet, quarter inch. This is $39.97. What I think is a really, really good deal here, but I've never used it. Their 15 inch surface cleaner is, uh, well, yeah, $74.97. And again, you could, you could use the 10% off Lowe's coupon, like I said, on these. Yeah, we're going to get to the Milwaukee deals in a minute, uh, uh, Anthony. Yep, we're going to get to those in a minute. So then you got, is this the same hose? Oh, man, they got to build this thing a little better. It's, it's like falling apart. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep, I, I think they're still, it's still a work in progress. Shaka would love to see this man right here. He'd be like, see, I told you. I told you right will be trash. Even their displays are trash. <laughs> All right, so yeah, these are still $99. These are the 1600 PSI's. This is probably one of the best bang for the buck out there because, you know, if you guys ever see like Pan the Organizer, his channel on car detailing, the pressure cleaner he uses is like a thousand bucks or something, maybe even more. And I'm like, you know, for this, you get, you get an it's the same thing. It's an electric plug-in and, and very easy to use. And if you, with this kind of PSI's, with 1600 PSI's, you could be using a soap cannon instead of a soap gun and the soap cannons are what really shoot the the soap and turn it into like shaving cream on the side of your car where it just clings with a real thick foam okay these are i guess they're just doing the same thing on both sides let's check out the milwaukee they added a, a new display here that wasn't here the other day so here we are looking at some milwaukee and you have your choice for 119 dollars you can get the multi-tool you can get the sawzall, you can get the grinder, you can get the sander, you can get the circ saw or the flashlight. Why would you waste? I don't know. That's a, that seems like a lot of money for that for that uh, flashlight there. But anyway, I don't think any of these are brushless. It's the only caveat. I don't think any of these are brushless guys. And then you got these guys for nine ninety seven. And I like these, but you know, I wish they would make a much bigger kit. I mean, just two blades. I want one that's got the wrecker. Well, so what does this one have in it? This one's had big what pruning. I don't want pruning. I do not want pruning. I want wrecker. And maybe something that'll do metal. <clears throat> here's the axe. You know, so you get these. And here's the wrecker. So it's like you gotta you gotta like pick one, two, three, you know. I want a package that's got like a dozen of these in it, right? Some of these are a little pricey. Look at this guy here. You got $29.97 right here for these. For the multi-tool. Yes. Somebody's trying to call me. Let me get rid of them. All right, so yeah, so this is the, you got three wood and a multi-material oscillating blades in here. And they give you a free bimetal one. <clears throat> so $29.97 on these. Man, those are pricey little boogers. Have you guys noticed how expensive the multi-tool sets are? Like over there, I'll show you in a minute. They got the rigid ones sitting right there on top of that cart over there. And those are like 50 bucks, man. I'm like, totally. Now here, it looks like they got the jump on putting this one out. Because this deal is supposed to start on February 1st. And maybe some of you know how much this is going to be. Because they don't have the sign on here. And I haven't seen this one yet. So this is the, the XC 8.0. Which is a real good um, you know, high density battery. That's got lots of stuff in there. And... Glenna TBT just checked in with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, all those super chats help out, guys, because, you know, uh, we're going to try to do a live stream on Sunday night to announce our latest tool giveaway. So um, that's what I'm hoping, if I can get everything loaded up on Saturday. All right, so check out. This is that same combo kit. I showed you guys it was on a floor stack before, but here they just kind of moved it onto this display where they dropped it down to 119 from 149 yeah, we're going to get to the Dewalt deals in a moment. And then, uh, so we showed you this on a live stream before, but it's, it, it's more or less on a display now. And then they've got, is this the CP 2.0? Yeah, the CP 2.0. These are on here at $64.97 for these guys. 
Hmm, let me see, is this, all of these is that same kit from before? Oh, we do have a fuel kit down here, but there's no price on it. Let me put this around here. <clears throat> yeah, this is that hammer, but there's no price on this guy yet. I don't know if that's the that's the brushless drill impact. No, that's yeah. See, that's still re, that's still for this guy here. We don't have a price on that one yet. <clears throat> Coming back around this side, they have a lot of these left over, so we're not seeing a current price on those. Where's that deal with the 169? Okay, so here. You see this deal right here? This is the, the M12 kit. This is the combo kit. So if you get this kit for $169, they're giving you a free CP 2.0 battery. Now this is like their lightest, one of their weaker batteries. It'll probably be okay on these. These are not suitable really for the rocket lights or anything like that because they just won't last long at all. You, I don't even know if you'd get an, you won't even get an hour out of this guy. All right, so Mike Lance says 149 for that hammer drill. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so this is 169 if you get this combo kit, the M12, you get that battery. But if you want to spend 60 bucks more to get a brushless, and this is uh, the 12 volt also, I like this kit better because it comes with an XC 4.0 battery and as well as the CP 2.0 and the charger and the bag. Okay, but if you pay $2.29 to get that kit, you're getting this battery for free, this XC. You're getting an extra, and this is a XC 6.0 battery, guys. So if you want to do the hack, you buy this whole thing and you return the battery, <clears throat> which is this battery here. So I don't know what the, uh, it'll tell you on your receipt what the maximum return value is, the maximum refund value. That's what you look at on your receipt. And that will tell you how much they would give you back if you took this back to the store and got a refund. And that would help average down the price of that guy from $229 to whatever. So I don't know what that amount is. Okay. But here's the kit. The M12 Fuel. This is the one I would get over the other kit. I'd spend the extra $60 any day. See, because see, if you look at this other kit, this other kit only comes with two CP 2.0 batteries. Here... You're getting one CP 2.0 boat, but you're getting that extra, the extra battery here is the XC 4.0. Personally, I wouldn't even do the battery hack. I'd want this extra battery because it's not very often that you can acquire a 6.0 battery, right? And those are, <clears throat> let me see. These, these and the fours are the minimum battery I think you should use in your M12 rocket light, guys, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's go check what we got for DeWalt. Oh, wait, if you still got some more here, they really got wiped on this thing. Man, look, all of the all of the hatches are gone, man. See, I bought mine back in September when these came out. I paid $199 less the 10% off on the Lowe's coupon for this guy. So now you're getting the whole kit with a XC 4.0 battery. All right. <clears throat> I lost this. The very first day I used it at my friend's house, I lost it and I spent a half hour walking around the yard trying to find out where the heck did I put it and I still never found it. So now I got to order another one of these from um, Milwaukee. And Mike says, Jeff, any deals on ratchet wrenches? Well, we're going to see if we got any more of those. Um, uh, who was it? That was, uh, the, was a Husky? I'm going to see if they have any of those left. All right, all right, I doubt these gators are really $199. <laughs> They're still kind of rearranging things here. Yeah, they, they never did sell out of these or the caps. I always thought it was really dumb. Why do we, why are we selling the Milwaukee, uh, the caps down here in Florida? Uh, the blower kit, which I still don't think is all that great a deal, is $299. But it does come with an extra XC8.0 uh, 8 battery. I think the kit comes by itself with a 6 and then the 8 is separate, and you could probably return the 8 and try to uh, reduce your price. All right, so here, we've already showed you guys on a couple of other streams, but 
This is the one that I'm filming, finishing filming the uh, tool review video of today. So I bought this one last week, and I paid $149 less 10% with the Lowe's card uh, on this. So since it's not really on sale, this is a new product. It's, it's not a sale price. So the only way you're going to get any money off is by using one of those Lowe's coupons that they accept here at Home Depot. And Michael says, do you know when they restock the DeWalt Flexible Table Saw? I am looking for one. No, Michael, if you saw them last week, my, my plight, I went through four Home Depots to find one. Yeah, they're, they're hard to track down right now for sure. This store never even sells them. They don't even carry them in the store. <clears throat> so I went to the Pompano store, which normally has it. They didn't have it. The Deerfield store didn't have it, and I finally found it in Boca. Uh, here's their string. The trimmer line is .080, $14.99. I think this is a better deal than the, than the Ryobi one, actually. Man, remember how many of these lawnmowers they had? Now, this is the push mower. It's on sale for $3.99. It's normally $4.99. Now, they, they're down to their last one in this store. I think we had like a half a dozen of these when I first showed you them. Uh, what was it, about two weeks ago? And then, uh, what do we have over here on the backside? Oh, this is what, uh, see, I have, I don't have a DeWalt one at home. I have a 21-inch huge one. See, you notice how this is just like an attachment? The one I have is a big giant thing with handlebars that goes all the way down to the ground and your big 21 inch thing is on there. Um, we, that's what I have. <clears throat> now this one, I didn't see when I was in here the other day. This is DeWalt's eight inch pole saw tool only, but they're not showing the price on it. So I guess they're still waiting. Or one. Some of these items guys, until we have a better description on the price, and we're kind of hazy on when they're going to do these discounts. Some of them might be February 1st. I would hold off until like February 1st until we maybe see some clarity on these. So I don't know why these are out here and there's no price. You don't even know what it is. And sometimes these things won't even scan in because they're so new. They're not even in the system yet, which is just totally mind boggling. But man, look at this. I like this idea. Eight inch pole saw. I'd like to see how... This compares to the Milwaukee. I don't know if we have a Milwaukee one over here yet or not. They might still be over with the OPE stuff. Yeah, and so we've also got, let me see, how big is this? This is the 22-inch cordless trimmer. Now, I have the older version of this one that I got last year. This one looks interesting. I might have to see. I forget, I forget how big mine is, but 22 inches is good because I can reach way back to the back of my hedges with that. Okay, we still have this kit on sale. This is the FlexVolt Advantage kit. Only the hammer drill is FlexVolt Advantage. This is our regular DCF887 impact driver there. And there's your price on that kit. It's still a good deal. I mean, $100 off of that kit. And I've been using this exact... This is the driver that I'm using on that tiny kitchen remodel that you guys have been seeing me do all those live streams from, you know. And let me pull up to see if any other comments came in. And Nacho Man came in with a $4.99 super chat. He says, thanks for keeping us informed. Hey, you bet, man. And thanks for that super chat. So all of that will help to pick up more tools for more people for our tool giveaway. And Banshee says, I bet your friend found it and doesn't want to give it back. Yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we still got $1.99 on the 14-inch string trimmer. And they, yeah, they got two more of the lawnmowers here. Here's the combo kit. $2.99. Now, let me see. I can't tell by looking at this side of the box how big the the trimmer is. But you got 450 CFM on the blower, though. Okay, so is there anything new on these? These are all, yeah, there's their, <clears throat> there's a new HP blower, the 18-volt blower. Now, it's kind of funny, for all of the fanfare that they give on these HPs, that they're supposed to be bigger, better, badder, this thing's only 350 CFM. To me, this is one I wouldn't even consider buying. I mean, why would you get something that low when you could come, you know, over and get something that's 450 CFM? That's more in the range that I would buy. I guess you really have to get a bunch of blowers in a row and, and, and see how well they do, you know. Uh, here is their HP 13-inch brushless. Let me see how much that is. That is 149. Let's see. 
So you're finally starting to see coming to fruition all of these HP series of tools, you know. And I, I tell you, I'm really surprised Shaka Gillis hasn't checked in today. Look at this. All of this set up just for him. Look, it's a sea of green, guys. And by the way, if you go down the OPE aisle... Hang on, I had to get rid of that call. If you go down the OPE aisle here at this particular Home Depot, dude, it's, it's like... 90% Ryobi all the way down the aisle at that OPE aisle and like Milwaukee and DeWalt and Makita are all scrunched into one bay at the very end like at the back end and I'm like I'm surprised the TTI guys put up with that nonsense but but it's like they're really really pushing pushing the Ryobi now it's like Ego has left and Ryobi has really taken up the reins here on this you know so, I mean, look at this. It's just non-stop green. Oh, Shaka, man. Your favorite color, buddy. Too bad you're not here to see this. Look at that. Look at that, folks. It's just everywhere. Yeah, so... I think we... I, I took a walk over to the clearance section. There's not one tool left over there. They must have done some lowering of the prices because there was a bunch of Milwaukee items over there the other day. And when I was in here, nothing was scanning below the normal price. I'm like, well, why are they even here in clearance? And now suddenly they're gone. So, yeah. All right, so I think that's probably enough from here at this time. Let me see if there was any other questions anybody had or anything to check. Is this in a book? No, this, Jacob, this is at the Coconut Creek store, Coconut Creek, Florida. Do you know if there's any deals on the orbital sanders? Well, uh, I didn't see any. And I was trying to remember if those any of those Black Friday deals are still going on until like the end of the month or not. I want to try to find those uh, ratcheting wrenches. I want to see if there's any deals on any of those wrench kits here. Uh, let's see if they got them back over here. Okay, see, they still got a lot of these gators here. $14.97. All right. So I'm going to see if they got anything from Husky. And... Yeah, I don't see any of those adjust... Those ratcheting wrench kits. They might be in the back down here, actually. And, man, this one aisle here... When I was in here the other day... Let me see if it's still empty. It was pretty wiped. Yeah, if you look down there, here, check this out. They got wiped. You're still seeing tool shortages, guys. I mean, look at all this. And you should see the price of wood and drywall. Holy cow. And copper. Copper, guys. All right, look at this copper pipe here. This is a, I believe it's a four-foot copper pipe. Now, this is like, I think it's only $7.99 here. But last night I was in Ace Hardware and I had to pay $11.99 for a two-foot piece of copper pipe. What a ripoff, man. Holy cow. Yeah, we still got... See, they still got the, the flexible displays up. So they're doing some uh, pretty good resetting going on. I'm going to see what's back here. And what do we got back here? Okay, so they did lower the price of the Red Helix. So here you got it down to $24.97 from $29.97. This is a nice kit. These will go right into your impact driver as well, too. Yeah, sometimes I find myself... I find myself putting drills into... Either, either. <laughs> All right, what do we got from Akita? Is this that leftover stuff? You know, they had some of this up the other day. Let me see. Oh, yeah. See the inflator. I don't know. Has any, any of you guys got this inflator? I don't know whether they get this one or not. That's a new one. They don't have the price on it, so I don't know what's the deal with this, this whole sign. But I guess 99 bucks. It, it seems like everybody's inflator is 99 bucks. So I kind of want to get one of these. I want to get the DeWalt one. I've already got the Milwaukee. 
I need to get the larger Ryobi one and do a shootout between all, all of them one day. <clears throat> and let's see. Oh, here's that cyclonic vacuum attachment here. So this is that $39.97 for Makita. So this goes on the, the vacuum not included. <laughs> Gee, I didn't know that by the size of the box. I never would have guessed it. All right, and then, and I'm assuming this part is 99 bucks also down here. That's the 18 volt lithium ion compact vacuum kit. That does look compact, holy cow. I don't know that I don't know why I would use that on any of my job sites though cuz I mean I'm just using the big my big uh rigids. <clears throat> okay, so here you got if you buy the 229 kit. So this has the two 2 amp hour batteries. You can get a free saw or you can get a free 5.0 amp hour battery or you can get the job site speaker. Why the heck would you get the job site speaker as your is your free tools beyond me but i can i can tell what some of you guys are already thinking huh you buy the kit you get the free 5.0 amp hour battery you do the hack you return the battery and that averages down the cost of your kit you know just like any of the other hacks that we do and look at this man so these uh, these impact sets here have been reduced to 9.97 so you got both metric and SAE. Use the metric. Six point on these. So that's what they've got. Oh, and what have we here? Mandatory Pro Dust Shadow Box. I don't know what these are. Sometimes I'll come along and I'll, I'll come across these boxes and I'll enter the SKU numbers, but they don't show up for anything on the system because they're not even like in the system yet but here's oh here we go milwaukee brushless drill impact so that's what we're looking at right here on these okay now they still have the atomic the all they did was they kind of just moved this to the back of the store these are still 99 bucks <clears throat> <clears throat> now my friend gene we were trying to find him a good drill we were going to get him the atomic one but the problem with with these is the battery that comes in this i believe is that little 1.3 amp hour battery which is this junk it's a junky little battery and there's no gauge on it so you can't tell how much uh, power is left on it and then this is just the old ryobi display from black friday that they brought in the back <clears throat> but these weren't even any discounted price this was just the regular price. This was the one that I was telling you guys back in November that, look, you, you, they make this big giant display with all these numbers on it, and you think you're getting a, a sale, but it's not. These are their normal prices that they've been since they announced all these products. So, yeah, there was nothing different there. Hey, and we did get back in. We did get back in more of the, the table saws from Rigid. You know, we ran out back in December. And it's still showing on here, 349 so $200 off on this. <clears throat> and you still got that seven-piece combo kit for $299. Um, see so if, they've, if they've lowered anything else here on the on the Makita. And yeah, they did get rid of the subcompact because you know once they dropped this down to 199 that was a pretty good deal. You still got. The circ saw kit and don't forget this circular saw kit is a hundred dollars off right now and i'm surprised they don't have that in yellow they really should have that in yellow to show you guys that it's pretty good discount right now because this is the same kit i'm pretty sure uh yeah yeah it still is it's the same one on there <clears throat> this is the same deal from black friday now i think this runs until the 31st so if you were hemming and hawing over getting a Makita Cirque you have until the, like next week, basically. This is the 31st, okay? And it looks like they found some stock of the, the two packs of the 5.0 batteries. So these are 159 from 199. <clears throat> we were out of these last time. We didn't even have any. 
So every time I came back by here and looked at this display, when if you buy this kit for the Cirque Saw, you get the, the two 5.0 amp hour batteries. I was always saying, how is anybody going to cash in on this deal? Because we didn't even see the batteries here. This is the first time I've seen these batteries here since like last summer, you know. So, so there we have it. And I don't know where my buddy Zach was moving all those other um, Ryobi things. I'm just going to take a real quick pass over to the OPE aisle. And I'm going to show you what they did over there. So we're kind of in that empty zone here where they're, they're looking for stuff to put in the back aisle here. Can you use the Lowe's coupon for online orders at each? No, you can't, and I'll tell you why. Because the cashier has to do a manual thing on it. And unfortunately, there's no way for them to do it online. Just, it, it's it's a, just a physical, logistical issue where they can't do it online. So the cashier has to go on their screen and they have to go to what they call the, the online cashier's book menu. And then we, when they get to that menu, they pull up promotions. And when they get to that menu, they pull up, there's like a half a dozen different promotions and the Lowe's discount is one of them. So that's like a manual process that they can't do online on Home Depot. All right. So check this out. Look what they've done here. You can see it's all Ryobi here. Here's all their blowers and their, their chainsaws and whatnot. And here's all the string trimmers and stuff here, right? And you got more and more blowers down here. And you got more Ryobi stuff down here. And then at the very end in the dark corner, you have one little section of DeWalt. And then you got you got Milwaukee and Makita are acting as bunk bed mates here. <laughs> and here's their pole saw. But it's a it's the attachment though. It's not like a whole tool though. So that's 149. Do you remember we were wondering about that back up in the front of the store there? And Nerdy Mr. Ray says, Oh, where are you from? I guess he's talking to somebody else. So all 12 old old school black and decker. Yeah. So you can see what they did here. They turned this whole OPE aisle into their they should just call it the Ryobi aisle. The Shaka Gillis Isle. The Shrine. To me, I think they're just kind of wasting their space by putting all of these, like, bleaches and cleaners and sanitizers and stuff. I mean, come on. You put the tools on the end stack, on the end case here, you know, that you want to get rid of. That's what you do. All right. And then they were doing some resetting over here. Oh, wait. So we got this... This is a Ryobi product that I haven't seen in a while. So this one's $99. So what this is, is this is their telescopic power scrubber. And by the way, um, I haven't seen it here in the store yet. And it may not be in the store. But Ryobi just came out with a new cordless dual action orbital. I think it's a dual action, but it's an orbital buffer for doing your car. Because, see, I have a corded one at home, and I, I can't stand I'm so tired of dealing with the cords, you know. And so they've taken down the old... This is where all the Christmas inflatables and the Christmas trees were. And they're starting to put up all of the patio stuff now. All of the... They're still working on it. They had this blocked off the other day when I was in here. And it's still like that now. So they're, they're finishing up on it, it looks like. Ryobi Nation, says Robert. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and still no... I haven't seen any deals yet on any of the grills, so maybe soon. We'll see. <clears throat> and then this store, I don't know if we still have it, but... Uh, well, they have the HDX disinfecting wipes, but we actually have Lysol branded wipes here the other day. Cases of it which are gone now. But look, see, all of these stores way overdid it with all of the masks, pallets and pallets of sanitizer. And look at this, all the hand sanitizers and gallons and jugs up. I mean, gosh, man, somebody really overdid it. Now this is the, yeah, and that's 80%. I don't even know what, what they're doing with that stuff. So, like just brand after brand after brand of, of hand sanitizer. So, am I?
And I think they're wasting the whole front of the store space with all of this cheaper stuff when they should be having a lot of those tools that are tucked way back down those aisles there. Oops, sorry. You know, if you remember when I was showing you guys those deals uh, a little while ago and all those Ryobis, I had to go up and down these these dark these dark aisles here that you see coming up. See, a lot of it's hidden kind of way off to the side. And people don't always go down all the way down these side aisles. Some of this stuff you really want to have going up the mid-aisle. This is what I call the midway. So this is the main midway. And when they're waiting in line to go to the cash registers, let me show you here. This is where you want to put all that stuff. This is where you want to put your most profitable stuff right here. Because this is where the line backs up on Saturdays. It comes all the way back here, you know. All right, so um, I'm going to have to check out. So if you didn't get any of your questions answered here, folks, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them when I get back. I do my best to get everything answered by the end of the, the day at least. So anyway, I want to thank all of you guys for joining us today. I hope you found this informational. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that below. Because Sunday is when we're hoping at 8 p.m., Lord willing, that we can go live and, and start the next tool giveaway. And we have some really good ones that we've been collecting up due to the generosity of all of you with the Super Chats over the past month there. All right, guys. So, listen, I want each and every one of you to have a great day. Have a nice, productive day. And we will see all of you on the next one.